Hello and welcome to P.S. Such a Connection. I'm P. And I'm S. And we are talking about the finale, the final rose of season 12 of The Bachelorette. JoJo season. Um, so the two remaining contestants, Robbie and Jordan, Jordan and Robbie, meet JoJo's family. <laughs> um... And Jordan goes first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so he comes up. He's got a bunch of hats. Yeah, he brought those hats. That was super cute, I thought. I thought that was really cute. Except he was like, my family likes to like embarrass each other. So I bought these like really silly hats. And they're like, I mean, they're not like nice hats. But, but they're, they're, yeah. they're like, ha! Ah! Look at that pink hat! You're so ridiculous! Yeah. Um, I guess he didn't want to take it too far. On the yeah. first, he was like, oh, this one's awesome! It's like a giant clown hat. And they're like, mm. he's like, one of them might be afraid of clowns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, or like, my family likes to embarrass themselves and then like pies one of them in the face. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would have been awesome. Um, Um, and, like, everyone liked him. Yeah. But they all said he was too much like JoJo. He was too much like JoJo. And so what JoJo's mom said that I really agreed with was that, like, he just seemed like... I don't want to say not committed. That's not what she said. Anyway, but just, like, kind of... Like, an so he's the kind of person, right, that attracts mm -hmm. a lot of attention and gets a lot of attention. And that can be a hard personality to be in a relationship with anyway. Yeah. And then on top of that, you know, along with that comes just a lot of women. And, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I can see how that would be a, be a concern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Just agreed with that. Yeah. I mean, I... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what did you think about his conversation with Dad? I thought it was fine. I didn't... I do think that... Mm, I don't know. I guess we're going to get into it more later, but if they were going to go through that whole thing and he was going to ask anyway, he yeah. might as well. Like, I understand that there are, like, points, you know, he had to overcome some stuff, but yeah. <laughs> I think he had to have known he was going to get pressured into doing it anyway, so he should have just done it and yeah. not even dealt with that whole drama. Yeah. But. I agree. Um, but yeah, and then Robbie comes, mm -hmm. um, and the more I see of Robbie on TV, huh? Um, the less I like him. <laughs> We're trying to sorry <laughs> maneuver here. Um, the more I see of Robbie on TV, the less I like him. Yeah, I definitely felt that tonight. Um, and I don't know if it was just... Like, I don't know if it had anything to do with him... Hmm. Changing. Like, I don't necessarily think that it was something that wasn't there before. I just think yeah. that he was trying so hard. He was trying so hard. And it just came across as really fake. He had all these lines, and he was yeah. like, well, our meatloaf is burning. Like, and our kids are in the background. Oh my god. That and was the awful. hair gel in my hair is melting into my eyes. Um, yeah, I... I didn't feel like, though, that he's a fake person. I just thought that he didn't know what to do. Yeah, no, he was overdoing his romance thing, mm -hmm. and, like, I mean, he was too in. Yeah. Like, everything he said sounded like it was scripted. We took count, right, through this, through 
the finale and after the final rose, he mentioned having told her in Uruguay that he loved her four times. It And it, it had to be more than that. Oh, yeah. They probably cut out. I mean, he, they, like, I feel like I heard Uruguay because he talked to her parents about it. Yeah. Talked to her. Mm-hmm. Talked to Chris Harrison. Yeah. Do you remember in Uruguay? I, in Uruguay, I just felt... Uruguay. <laughs> and like, I know I've read, um, or I've watched interviews with other people who've been on reality shows like this, and they'll be like, I said that line so many times, so many times, and they put it in like maybe five, and that became my catchphrase. So the fact that they only showed Robbie saying it four times means he probably said it a thousand times. Stupid. I mean, that's an assumption. We don't know that for sure. But he brought it up. It could be the other way. And they just... No. Because even if those were the only times he mentioned it, it was still too many. Yeah. And he also... Like, it wasn't just tonight. He's mentioned it on every date since, I think, hometown dates, right? Yeah. like Maybe before that, too. I'm not sure. Yeah. like Definitely since hometown dates. So many... But anyway, um, but JoJo's family was so into it. They were eating it up. Mm-hmm. He was like, I'm ready to marry her. And like intense about it. And like JoJo's family were just like, well, he's husband material. And I can see how they would th- feel that way after Jordan. Definitely. He yeah. is the safe choice. Yeah. But that's not the choice that you want to choose. Yeah. That's, that's like the cushion landing and you aren't going to be, <sighs> yeah, no. Um, she says that thing when she's talking with her parents that was like, and I'm probably going to like paraphrase this incorrectly, but they showed it in the promos too. She says, if I were with Jordan and things ended up not working out. I would always wonder what would happen with Robbie. But if I were with Robbie, I would always wonder what that other life would be. It's not like if I were with Robbie and, and things didn't, didn't work end out. up working yeah. out. Yeah. Or if I were with Jordan, I would wonder yeah. if I were with Jordan and we broke up. Yeah. Um, exactly. And again, she was like in a highly emotional state, so she yeah. probably wasn't thinking about the words that she was saying. But, but even then, that's when your subconscious that's, comes Yeah, out, I so. think that's exactly what she meant. Yeah. And I think it was clear, even her, her family pointed it out, she was real quick to defend Jordan when they were talking about how great Robbie was. And like, yeah, um, it was just very clear that that's where her heart was. Even if it wasn't clear to her in the moment because mm-hmm. it can be obviously very conflicting um like i want to say i want to like reference dez's season maybe i always reference dez's season but um when i thought it was i mean it was clear that her heart was with brooks yeah. And that didn't work out. And she did go with Chris, the mortgage broker, who, in my mind, if it had been Brooks and Chris in the end, it would be the exact same situation. Well, yeah. Chris is safe, but you love Brooks. But she ended up with Chris, and she is happy. And she's, yeah. like, pregnant and mm-hmm. stuff. But, um... Not nine months later, though. Jesus yeah. Christ. Come on, Robbie. That was a little... That was a little much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then in the after... I mean, do you have anything more about Robbie's? Oh, no. No, because I was just going to talk about... In that whole she's talking with her parents about them, her parents are like, well, Jordan didn't ask us for our blessing. Mm -hmm. And JoJo was like... What? Yeah, that throws her through a huge loop. Like, it wouldn't... I think it would have been exponentially more easy for her to decide had he just done that. Mm -hmm. 
um, where I don't even think they're. Uh, it's hard to say because they always have them like they knew. I mean, she knew it was Jordan from the first day. Come on, people. But like, I'm not sure that that conversation with her parents would have gone the same way because they like. A conversation about Jordan is just like, well, we're not sure. I feel like... I feel like she would have said it's Jordan to them, even if they didn't show that to us in that conversation with Robbie, if they didn't bring up the fact mm -hmm. that he hadn't asked for the hand. Yeah. Um, and even her brother said, Robbie is the logical decision. When you're talking about your heart, yeah. do you go with the logical? Like, isn't that the whole thing in Star Trek? Spock is logical Ugh. and not, he doesn't think with his heart. And that's why, I mean, I guess he makes good decisions, but. Does Spock have a heart? Um, I don't Sorry. watch Star Trek, so. I mean, I neither know. do I really. I just know that bit of. We're, uh. <laughs> I should not have even brought that up. It doesn't matter because no one else who watches The Bachelorette also watches Star Trek. Yeah. Um, playing to our audiences here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Using references to things you don't watch. So you don't know that they're wrong. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. I did the right thing. Yeah, you did. I did the logical thing. <laughs> yes. Whereas I think with my heart and always reference Dez's scene. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, so the whole time I was thinking, I really, really, really want Jordan to not propose. And, like, I get that that wouldn't be the most romantic ending, but I, it's once, once in The Bachelor slash Bachelorette, I want it to be a... Uh, and I think that you agree that this is what he was kind of trying to do. Absolutely. Trying to be like, I, at the end, I am not ready to propose to you because we've only known each other for three months. Yeah. But I want to be with you and continue and maybe down the line marry you. I think that this is a serious thing that could work, but I'm not going to be another bachelorette statistic. So, like, mm -hmm. and I think that it's totally, totally reasonable for Jordan to have been, like, I don't feel comfortable asking for your, asking your father to give me his blessing when you might be totally in love with someone else. Yeah. Like, you want to be sure that that person that you want to marry is as invested in you as you are in them. Yeah. And I think it's understandable. Especially considering they supposedly are, they talk about having this talk about how important it is to Jojo. Yeah. For the person she's being proposed to by to have her father's blessing. Yeah. So if, I mean, it's kind of like if he's giving out his blessing to everyone, it's not as special. Yeah. And I guess, like, you have to ask if you think you're going to propose, but... Like, I I completely understand where Jordan is coming from, that he wouldn't want to ask if she's going to say no to him. Yeah. Because that takes away the specialness... Yeah. ...of the granting of the hand. Yeah, for sure. Um... But then Jojo was like, no, but. <laughs> um, yeah. You're going to propose to me. So. I think even, even through that conversation, like maybe he did become a little bit more secure with it because she was so upset. So That's he was true. like, oh, well, well, if she weren't as upset, then maybe it's because she's leaning more towards yeah. Robbie. Right. But I still think he was a little bit force of hand. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was a little bit. Um and I hope I really hope that doesn't negatively affect their relationship cuz I want them to be together forever yeah. and um make beautiful babies, but in a reasonable amount of times. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Take some time. Take some time. Maybe get to know each other a little better. Yeah. Um, Talk to each other in person and without cameras. Yeah. Rather than over the phone or with cameras. Um, and... Yeah. So, it was a little bit forced, but I also feel like he was happy. Yeah. And he was... Yeah. So it was good. Um, so then we we go into that rose ceremony where Robbie comes. Yeah, Robbie to comes. To propose to her. And to, I thought he said that he wrote a poem. I know he yeah. wrote that letter to her. Okay, yeah, he wrote the letter. But I thought he said the word poem also. I thought so, but... So I was gearing up to hate everyone, but... <laughs> That didn't happen, so I was quite happy. I liked that she stopped him before he got down on his knee. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was better. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I was just glad that it wasn't Robbie. Yeah. At that point, I was definitely, like, not on Robbie's team. No. Even in what he was saying be before the proposal, it's like... And, okay, I'm not a very good in-the-moment speaker. I think I've proved that. <laughs> but it's like he wrote it down and then practiced a script rather yeah. than, like, writing down kind of points that he wanted to hit yeah. and then talking about them Seriously. as they came. It was like he stood in the mirror and had this whole thing memorized. Yep. And, um... I, yeah, and he was like, I feel bad for the other guy. And we're like, okay, Robbie. Like, that, well, that has to be rough to watch back. Yeah, it must be really tough. Um, But maybe he was going for, like, sympathy points. I don't know. Um, if he's the next Bachelor, I'm going to be so pissed. We have jointly decided that if Robbie is the next Bachelor, we're not going to watch. Yeah. Um, but... I think, I think very, very firmly that it's Luke. I don't see another. Yeah. I'm confident. I hope so. I really do. Yeah. Um, yeah, but then Jordan. So then Jordan comes. And he's beautiful. Yeah. And she's beautiful. Robbie's tie was also <laughs> tough. Yeah, it was we... Tough. Yeah, Robbie. Love you, Robbie. Sorry no, about what don't. happened. Uh, I mean, I'm sure he's a nice person. He just uh, came yeah. across as so fake that, like, we got a little bit angry. That's true. That's true. A little bit. Give him caring. the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. It's reality TV. Mm -hmm. It's fake. The only person I don't give the benefit of the doubt has a four-letter name and I hate him. And we're not going to mention, so... Um... So, yeah, then Jordan comes, and they're talking, and she also stopped him in the middle of his speech, which was nice, and said, I love you. Yay! Like, that was great. That he knows... I think she handled both of these so well, because she stopped Robbie before he got down on his knee, and she mm -hmm. stopped Jordan before he got down on his knee. To say, I love you, before he proposed to yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. Because it's a little, I mean, it's a little weird if the person that you're proposing to hasn't yeah, said I love you. For sure. So I think it was really nice A plus that she did don't. that. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, I'm not sure if that's ever, anything like that has happened before. I know people have said, like, I love you before the rose ceremony, or the proposal, I guess, also. before, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then, I mean, for after the final rose, they had the yeah. people, they had Robbie, and he was all sad. sad. <laughs> <laughs> um, and still scripted. And still scripted. I looked out into the horizon, and I watched that future fade oh away. God. Stop! Stop oh it! Oh my god! <sighs> okay. So, 
So I'm looking into the horizon and I'm watching Robbie walk away so I can never think about it. <laughs> um, I hope he meets a lovely girl. Yeah. I hope that he... I hope they have scripted dinners together. That would be so nice. <laughs> he needs a love like that. Yeah. Um, All right, honey, here's your script. Memorize it before dinner. Yeah. Um, so, then, yeah, so, I don't know, JoJo talks to him, and it's like, fine, I don't have anything to say. Yeah, I don't think so. Um... There was that whole thing about JoJo about to say who she wants to be the next Bachelor, and they, I yeah. think they were going to announce it then. You, I don't think they were. I don't know. Because feel if like, they were going to, they would have. I feel like it got derailed. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think they purposely derailed it. I don't, I just don't understand why they didn't, though. Like, what's different, and why didn't they say when they were going to announce it if they didn't? Yeah, I don't know, because you would think they would do that so that whatever they were going to announce it on would you get would tune views. into. Yeah. yeah. Um, It'll probably be tomorrow. It'll, it, I just hope it's not at the end of The Bachelor in Paradise. It totally will be. But that will be funny, because... The entire, uh, I guess we'll talk about it a little bit more mm -hmm. later, what we're going to do tomorrow. But. Yeah. So for right now, um, I don't have the pen, so what we're going to do instead is just pick that do off. Do this. And then we're going to, oh, what? Sucks to be you. Um, <laughs> bye. So, Jordan. La 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 la. You made it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is the winner. That's his pecs flexing. Yeah. Pecs, pecs, flex, 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 my, my pecs, pecs, pecs. Another reference you won't get. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully next season we have some more budget for oh, yeah. things like that. Or I know how to work an editor. What? What? That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> could jointly learn how to work in editing. That would be great. Um, until then, we're going to continue. Are we ready to skip? Do we have more to talk about? The only thing we have to talk about is what we're going to do tomorrow. All right, let's talk about it because tomorrow starts doo -doo -doo -doo, Bachelor, Bachelor in Paradise. Paradise. That was totally awesome. We are... Fantastic. We didn't plan that. No. Um, <laughs> that was not scripted. Robbie, take a hint. Take a lesson, Robbie. We did it perfectly, and we had no, I mean, in that moment, even, we had no idea. Um, uh, so tomorrow, yeah, we're going to tune in to the premiere of Bachelor in Paradise Season 3, and, and we're going to have one of our friends with us, who is of the male persuasion <laughs> he is uh, he, straight male persuasion in fact yes he was born with the parts of a man <laughs> he was and likes the parts of a woman he's a <laughs> i hope he never sees it <laughs> He's probably going to watch this yeah. to, like, prepare himself yeah, for tomorrow. because he's that type of person. And he's going to be like, wow, <laughs> I'm not going. And then he's not going to show up. Um, so if he doesn't show up, we know why. But um, he has never watched a Bachelor or never Bachelorette. Um, and full disclosure, we have never seen Bachelor in Paradise. We have not. So we don't even know how it works. So, so we're going to do... Train yeah, it's going to be different. We're going to... Um, do like a little bit of a reaction video to see his reaction. We're gonna talk about yeah. it a little as we watch. Um, and uh, it'll be fun in yeah like, half half forcing because it wasn't all forcing. He was down to do it. Yeah, and he keeps texting me like, yeah. "Hey, see you Tuesday. See you Tuesday for paradise." <laughs> yeah, so um, we're excited to hear what he has to say. Yeah. Our guest host about uh bachelor in paradise 
should be interesting. So tune in tomorrow. And follow us on Twitter at PS Such a Connection. Awesome.